Welcome to another edition of Vikings Film Room, brought to you by the Minnesota Vikings Entertainment Network. I'm your host, Pete Bursich. Now, Dalvin Cook is the best running back in the NFL. Now, some of you might say, that's a pretty flippant statement considering he had over 1,900 scrimmage yards and 17 touchdowns in the 2020 season. But fortunately for us, the eye in the sky never lies. And we're about to bring you three different segments that will show you exactly why Dalvin Cook is the best running back in the NFL. And we're gonna do it film room style. Now the first series of plays that I'm gonna show are lead ISO plays. And I think you have to go back to Robert Smith to find another Vikings running back that can run an ISO play as well as Dalvin Cook. Now, why do they call it the ISO? Well, mainly it's because you're isolating the linebacker with the fullback. And you can see on the snap, that you get the double team on the nose tackle and you'll see C.J. Ham leading up on the linebacker. And once Ham makes contact, you'll see Dalvin Cook seize the cutback lanes available. But then you see Dakota Dozier get to that second level and just push the linebacker. But Dalvin Cook has the vision and is shifty enough to get back, cut back, and then bounce it all the way back, running through arm tackles, getting to the second level. So not all of the big, long runs are his best runs. Another ISO against the Green Bay Packers. Okay, same thing up front. You see the double team of the nose tackle, C.J. Ham leading up on the linebacker. And once C.J. Ham makes contact, there are two Green Bay defenders there. There's a linebacker and a safety there to make the play. But Delvin, again, can shift, cut back inside, shake the ankle tackles, and then add another seven yards to that play. Okay, another play against our beloved Green Bay Packers. Again, an ISO play up front, but you'll see Ezra Cleveland leaves Kingsley Kiki free. So he's working up to the linebacker right away, and Kiki basically is, is turned free. Dalvin can see that out of the corner of his eye, cuts back, makes Kiki miss, and then he's gone. So it's the start and the stop, the vision, keeping his shoulders square, the ability to cut back. And then once he's in the green, he just turns things on and it's amazing. Against the Chicago Bears, same kind of situation. But watch Bradbury on this play. There's a, there's a blitz on the backside. And Ezra Cleveland does a great job of blocking Hicks on the underneath stunt. And you'll see Bradbury, he's scanning. He's looking back. So he's blocking one guy, but looking back behind him, is able to peel back, block the linebacker, and then Dalvin Cook just takes this thing front side. A nice little block by Adam Thielen, and you get the first down and then, and then some. All right, against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. This is just, again, a draw, kind of a lead iso. And you see White stepping up, and then Dalvin Cook just kind of takes that and stays behind the double team, waits for the linebacker to make a decision, and then reads off of that, breaks it free, makes two guys again miss, and gets to that next level. No one can set up an ISO block like, like Dalvin Cook can. On this play, you watch this play and watch when Dalvin Cook takes this snap. He kind of gives it a stutter and go. And the nose tackle, Nunez Roches from, from Tampa Bay, just, oh, he just tries to settle when Dalvin settles. And then Dalvin, boom, starts, stops, gets, gets through that arm tackle. He's to the next level. And luckily, they brought, you know, someone had tripped them up and was brought down by the safety or else there have been a lot more yards on that play. All right, the counter. The counter means that you're pulling people, that you're starting one way and then going back the other way. And in this case, you've got Dakota Dozier and Irv Smith Jr. pulling on the front side where Kyle Rudolph is and Conklin is. They're all blocking down. You're blocking down and you're kicking out and you're trying to find a seam in between. And when you see Dakota Dozier get up, he gets his guy down. But Irv Smith leads up inside. And when... Dalvin gets behind Herb Smith. You'll see three, four Tennessee defenders to the inside, but Dalvin sees daylight to the outside. And that's the thing. Once he sees daylight and he turns on those jets, the safety, even though he has an angle, he can't get there. And Dalvin is free to score the touchdown. So a lot of guys can get to that second level, but it's a guy like, it's a guy like Dalvin Cook who has the jets and the ability to explode through that hole, find it, and then get in the end zone against Detroit. This is a counter OT. This is a, this is old school now. I know our coordinator was an old man. This is an old play where you're actually pulling both the guard and the tackle front side. And you'll see Collins, the linebacker, he gets there, but a great block at the point of attack. And Dalvin just kind of finds that crease on the front side. So there was really nowhere for him to go on that play. 
but he runs those counters and those kinds of things so well. All right, against the Houston Texans, at the snap, you're going to see J.J. Watt on Ezra Cleveland. And then J.J. Watt decides that he's going to come inside. And Dalvin takes the snap, sets his feet, gets away from, you know, gets away not only from Watt, but the linebacker can't even get there to bring him down. And you have another guy down the field, overruns him. He cuts it back inside and almost gets himself into the end zone. All right, the next series of plays is, is that outside zone, the stretch play, meaning it's going to stay front side. And Dalvin is just going to use his speed to try to create a seam with the blocking up front. And if you look at the linebacker at the bottom, 56, Demario Davis, you'll see that on this play, he doesn't get blocked. But you'll see Dalvin takes his hand off and, and bolts his way forward. Demario Davis can't catch up to him. He just can't get enough a speed out of that play to get to Dalvin Cook and Dalvin gets into the end zone. So even when you have all the holes filled, all the gaps filled, you got a linebacker unblocked to the play, doesn't mean he's going to make the tackle. That's why Dalvin Cook's the best in the league. All right, against the Chicago Bears, another zone from the front side. And on this play, if you watch the nose tackle on Garrett Bradbury, he's two gapping him. He's in the middle. And then Dalvin Cook, after he takes his hand off, he does this little bit of a stutter. And he has two ways to go. He can cut it back inside or bounce it outside on the front. Gives a little bit of a wiggle. The nose tackle peaks in the cutback hole. Dalvin's free. Adam Thielen up the field on a great block. Irv Smith Jr. up the field on a great on a great block. And if Trevathan doesn't chase him down, he's still running. All right, zone play against the Jacksonville Jaguars. Enough defenders on the front side of this play. They have Schofield. They have the linebacker. They have a defensive lineman. Some good blocking up front, but Dalvin is just so fast downhill that you can't arm tackle him. You give him a little bit of a crease. Another great block by Thielen. He cuts that thing back and you get the first down. So those zone plays, he hits the, he goes downhill with such speed uh, that it's it's just very, very difficult to bring him down. Another one of Paul Allen's favorite plays, if you listen to the call on this one, he's absolutely going crazy. Hand off Dalvin, up the middle to the two, touchdown! Dalvin gets into the end zone for the fifth rushing touchdown this season, and the Minnesota Vikings strike first. Now J.J. Watt's coming underneath, and Dalvin keeps this thing front side. The linebacker is free. He is untouched to get to him, but he still can't bring him down with the arm tackle. So McKinney gets in there untouched, and Dalvin says, you know what, I'm just going to switch the ball in my hand and just stiff arm the defensive back and get myself in the end zone. So really four missed tackles on that play. You know, they don't have to be awesomely designed plays and blocked to the tees for this kid to make some big plays. All right. Another one of my favorite plays of the year. This is just a zone play to the right side. Again, you see that cut back by the tight end. He gets him, gets Scarlett. Brennan Scarlett gets the block. Scarlett stays on his feet, gets up, and then Dalvin says, no, nah, I don't think so. He stiff arms him <laughs> with that left hand, and Scarlett can't bring him down. So that's that's Dalvin pushing around a 255-pound linebacker. Just an, uh, just an amazing play. All right, the draw play. Nothing fancy here. This is just take the ball, bring it over. You'll see Dalvin, as he gets up on Bradbury, he's bending this thing to the outside. So he's pulling in the defensive back, and then he cuts this thing back, keeps those feet moving. Irv Smith Jr. stays on his block, and then he's just churning his feet for another seven yards. This is a third and short type play. It's the old gut flip, meaning you're going to have a front side type play. He just stuttered steps. Outruns the linebacker to the sideline. But watch the big fella, number 97. He comes all the way down the field, misses him with an arm tackle, misses him again with an ankle tackle. So that's a that's a heartbreaker for a defense when you have an offense third and short and then you give up the big explosive play. Now against the Detroit Lions, a very similar situation. They're, they're faking the, the sweep, the jet sweep to the receiver. And they flip it to Dalvin, and this time they have a defensive back blitzing off the outside, and they have a defensive end. Doesn't matter. Dalvin <laughs> sticks his foot in the ground, cuts back inside, able to get the first down and then some. So you have two defenders. That's what kills defensive coordinators when there are two defenders out there to do their job, and neither one of them get it done because Dalvin is that good. Now, even when plays break down, Dalvin can still make some things happen. And especially on a play like this where you see the nose tackle really get the best of Bradbury. He's three yards in the backfield when Dalvin gets his hand off, turns it upfield, 
and gets about eight or nine yards. So even when you have them hemmed up, pinned up in the backfield, you don't you don't necessarily doesn't mean you have them. Now this against the Chicago Bears probably the best one yard run I've seen in a long time. You, if you watch Akeem Hicks, he beats Cleveland on the inside. You have a defensive end collapsing and chasing on the backside. And by the way, you have a cornerback or safety, a defensive back coming off the end too. So when Dalvin gets his hand off, he is absolutely surrounded by orange jerseys. And he plants his foot, spins out of it. Four defensive players there, four Chicago Bears right there. None of them can bring him down. He gets back outside, makes a cut, and then ends up with positive yardage. So the big runs aren't always the best, but Dalvin Cook, I'll tell you what, no one sets up blocks better than he does. No one can start and stop better than he does. And when he gets to that second level, he's got the speed to take it to the end zone.